Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and in this video, I want to go over humble stock because I mentioned last week that we were at a pretty critical point in terms of price action. And so I want to go over what we saw today. And I want to mention before we get into this video, I am one of the biggest bulls on humble, but I'm also a realist. And so I want to go over everything on these charts as objectively as possible. So don't come for me in the comments because I'm still a shareholder and I plan to hold this stock and accumulate this stock for years down the road. With that being said, we're looking at humble right here on the daily time frame. We were down 1.64%. And I have to mention, we got rejected by our 50 SMA, which was the scenario that we did not want to see here in Humble. So the two scenarios on the table we had were either Humble was going to break out past this 50 SMA, back test this line, and eventually start its way up. But because we got this death cross, we did have a feeling that there was a chance that we get rejected and we got rejected here yesterday on Humble and then today we followed up with another down day. You could see we've seen some distribution here on Humble and this is a scenario that we did not want to see. So considering now that we have seen the death cross and now we have gotten rejected three times by our 50 day SMA, it leads me to believe that we are going to get lower prices here in Humble in the short term. And if you are as big as I am on Humble, that is not a bad thing. That is going to be opportunity to bring your cost and average down as well as build out an even bigger position in one of the most innovative companies in the market today. And so for individuals who have been holding Humble up here and been sweating this stock, if you bought Humble at five, six, seven dollars, there should be no reason you're not buying at a dollar. And so this is the opportunity for heavy bag holders to bring down their average cost because this is how real wealth is made. It's very difficult to time a stock. I personally got lucky with when I got into Humble way before we saw this huge run up. However, I never took any profit. Most stocks and most innovative plays that you really believe in are going to test your patience and your confidence in the stock. And that's what we're going to see here in Humble. Are you people that are holding at six, seven, five, willing to hold until we start to see the reversal? Or are you going to sell in the red cut your losses because you don't have the patience or you don't believe in the future of this stock and so this is where the real test is going to start because it does look like we are going to drift down here on humble eventually once we get the price action above our 50 sma and we back test it then we could start to see brighter skies in the short term however i don't like the fact that we got rejected by our 50 three times and then we followed up today going even lower and so i mentioned death cross a whole bunch of times and some of you guys may not know what what I'm saying so I'm just gonna quickly google it for you guys so you get a better and clear definition of what this really means death cross is a technical chart pattern indicating the potential for a major sell-off the death cross appears on a chart when a stocks short-term moving average aka the 50 crosses below the long-term moving average aka the 200 typically the most common moving averages used in this pattern are the 50 and the 200 day average and so as much as I love this stock and as much as I want the stock to go higher and as much good news as we're actually getting behind the scenes on Humble, this is the nature of how the stock market works. As the company builds behind the scenes, the share price does not reflect what the company actually is. And it's always going to be like that. You're going to have crazy surges in prices. You're going to have crazy drops in prices, but that doesn't change the fundamental outlook of this company. However, on a technical basis, you should not be buying the stock right now because there is a chance it can go a lot lower in the short term i do think that we could see price action as low as the 75 cents again and at that point in time it is a great idea to get back into humble load up on humble do whatever it is i have a goal that i want to get about 10k shares in this stock hold those 10k and ride it out for the future i do believe that humble is going to be like a savings account instead of putting your money into a high interest account Account that gives you one two percent annually i believe that in the long run humble is going to be way above this price and i believe if i have a huge position built out here there will always be opportunity to sell take profit from the stock and redeploy my money while still having a really big chunk 
in that position, which will continue to appreciate year over year. And so with Humble, there should not really be any worry in the long term of this company. However, the short term, this may get rocky. I could be completely wrong. We could completely curl right back up, get above our 50 SMA. However, I don't like the fact that we not only crossed, but we also got rejected multiple times. And so it's easier said than done. But if you can stay away from looking at a stock or you could stay away and not focus on the day to day swings, be a lot healthier for your mental sake as well as just your overall well-being if you're constantly checking about the swings on humble day to day why it's going down so much yes that is going to put a lot more pressure on you but that's going to make you consider your position even more which you may end up selling because of the amount of time you keep thinking about the stock instead go out for a walk just do something that takes your mind off of stocks because again this is part of the game. It's easy to click a button to buy a position in a company. The hard part is to hold it when it's going down and it really tests your mental. And so I do say that the stock market is like mental warfare, psychological warfare, which is probably the hardest part about being an investor because it's very easy to buy and sell positions, but it's very hard to hold, especially when your position is going down. And so for being realistic, I could definitely see Humble drifting even lower as low as the 75 cents level and potentially even lower if we do get to that point however i just wanted to make sure that you guys are understanding exactly what i'm seeing i'm not bashing the stock i'm not a bear but in times where you have to look at the technical setup there are times when the stock is not going to perform well and then there's going to be times where the stock is going to perform well and right now it doesn't look like the stock is going to perform well and so i am preparing you guys so you can create a plan for your position either wait for buying opportunities hold out before you actually splurge into buying the stock because right now it is still a very attractive price at a dollar 20 but it could get even lower and so right now we're looking at humble on twitter i just like going over their twitter because this is where they do put up the most recent news we have a shareholder call tomorrow june 30th and so that is going to be a huge call for investors confidence if investors don't like what they hear we could see that sell-off continue but if Brian Foote pulls a rabbit out of his hat and he says some great news or maybe something about acquisitions or just any sort of revenue streams that is a lot further along than anticipated it could turn the tide and we could start to see the price action go up and so overall tomorrow is going to be a huge day for humble investors be prepared for the worst though for that conference because sometimes a company just needs to organically grow and it's hard for a company to live up to such high expectations very early on and so to be realistic with yourself is probably the best play don't expect anything crazy because if you're prepared for the worst it can never be worse than what you expected and so that was my quick little update here on humble if you guys enjoyed this quick little update don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one